Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars. I thought I would explain a little about form and formlessness and the angelic and David realms and, and God as they express themselves in form and, and in creation. God is infinite and formless as, as they all say, but through viewing his creation we can get a feeling of his, his beneficent qualities, the blessings that he feels uh, in conferring on his creatures, on his, the beings created, his grace and love and hope and peace, all those, all those fine qualities that we find in him. The, there are formed and formless realms in creation. Uh, we, we, for instance, have f physical form, and we, we have forms less dense than the physical, known as subtle bodies. Then we have the soul, which transcends time and space and form. In the same way, there are other beings in God's creation that are not formed. Many such, uh, there are many dimensions that are formless, um, many more so than the formed. Uh, the angelic realm, including the Davic realm, is one such. The angels and the devas sometimes delight in expressing themselves in physical form that we humans can see much as we might create a sketch or painting of the natural world or of ourselves. And so in some of my blocks I've shown uh, sketches that the solar devi, the devas of the sun, do of their, to express their, their beingness, not so much their form as their formless state of beingness. Once I showed a depiction of a sand painting by a, a Ginny uh, that, that it had created through, uh, through a vortex in the desert. Um, sometimes the elementals create pictures of their emotional feelings in, for instance, the clouds or ripples in the water. And I've also taken pictures of these for you. The Hathors of Earth's solar planes devise pictures of light that indicate their joyful character. And as I channel sometimes the Hathors, I've been lucky enough to take snapshots sometimes of their depictions of their work through human beings here on Earth, such as I, light workers here on Earth. So, just to let you know, then, the pictures of these formless beings that I'm lucky enough to get pictures of are not really pictures of the beings themselves, but rather of the depictions they make in the physical realm of their formless beingness.